hi, and welcome to another Stellaris Nexus Dev Diary. Today, we're going to be talking about the Galactic Council and succession and how players win the game through accumulating succession points. So, Adam, why don't you kick us off by talking about succession and how it is that you came about um, really committing to this idea of proving your worth to become the next emperor of the galaxy? Stellaris Nexus isn't an out-and-out -out war game. The aim of the game isn't to conquer the galaxy, but prove that you're most suited to lead. In the aftermath of the Sin Empire, people are looking for a strong leader, uh, someone who can kind of prove themselves to everyone on the council. So how we do that is we have succession points that you earn throughout the game. And the aim of the game is to have 100 succession points coming out of a Galactic Council meeting. So this idea of proving your worth, proving that you are the obvious choice to be the next emperor um, can take a number of forms, right? So succession gives you a lot of different routes to victory. Depending on your play style, you can develop your economy to build giant megastructures or spread your culture to other factions. Or you can engage in diplomacy um, to promote stability throughout the galaxy. Uh, the more packs you make, the more succession you gain. Or you can go for the all-important titles that are voted in at each Galactic Council. Every eight years in the game, all of the players meet for the new League Council. So this is where the various achievements of the factions are recognised. But most importantly, players then vote on which new titles and resolutions are going to be adopted moving forward in the game. That idea of giving players the choice and the power to decide who wins and how they win is is like a really fascinating aspect of the game. Yeah, as you say, the, the idea behind the new League Council was to really put the, the victory conditions uh, in the hands of the players. So each council, um, you get a number of titles you can vote on, whichever titles get uh, adopted will act as the victory conditions for the rest of the game. So in that way, we kind of really let players as a, as a group uh, decide on how that game is going to go. Like if you vote in Lots of economic titles, you're probably going to have a fairly friendly game, um, but with a few sort of key skirmishes over um, key economic planets. Uh, whereas if you kind of go for more uh, military-focused titles or territory-focused titles, you're really going to see a lot more war. And it's not just titles, is it? There's also resolutions that can be voted on at each council phase. And once a title is adopted, it's then there for the rest of the game, whereas resolutions only have an effect between council phases and then get completely revoked and replaced at the next council. Why did you feel it was necessary to have those two systems at play? The important thing is to kind of give you a choice when you come to the council phase. If there's a, a title you really want to win, obviously you're going to put a lot of your votes behind that. But if you if you know that the, kind of the table is leaning that way anyway, those votes are kind of wasted. So so um, instead you can choose to, to put those votes on, on a resolution which changes the game up in some massive way. Like uh, we have a unity resolution which creates a non-aggression pact between all factions. Uh, so if you want to kind of slow down the game a bit, slow down the aggression, that's a great one to go for. Stellaris Nexus is a fast 4x game designed to be played start to finish in about 60 minutes. But every game plays differently, not only as a result of the factions that players choose, but also the decisions that they collectively make when the Council meets. The titles and resolutions that receive the most votes when all players meet at the Council has a huge impact on the path to victory for all players. But there can only be one winner, and it's the player who manages to navigate that path most successfully that will ascend victorious to the throne on Nexus and take the crown as the new Emperor of the Galaxy.